Hi, and welcome to the Samurai Monkey 42. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a World War II, how to install a Satur, and a World War II Japanese sword. The way I'm going to show you guys how to install the Satur, you can use it on a, a Shingonto, a Kaigonto, or Type 95 NCO sword. So I previously have taken out the Satur from the sword. And what I do is... I do this here and I also use a soft cloth or rack and I use a pair of pliers this one is a little bit hard I'm gonna have to do it without it first Especially if you're, you need to be careful if you're using the decoration, uh, the decorated uh, satours. Because those are more delicate. You don't want to scratch them. And you just want to squeeze it. You don't want to squeeze too hard. Otherwise you might break if, if it's a, a chingonto sore. You're going to break the wood. Or even if it's a Type 95, you're going to bend the handle a little bit. I had a, a few people on eBay asking me how to do this. I, actually, I came up with this is the way I do it. I came up with this way. I'm going to squeeze it a little bit more. Once again, you don't want to squeeze too hard. And there you go. It's always going to be just a little bit loose like this. For the Shingonto Type 98, you want to make sure the Orkai Gonto, you want to make sure the Satur barrel is there. Otherwise, it's just, the Satur is just going to be all just wobbling. You also have to remember the Satur barrel gives it, it makes it look really elegant and just, you'll be surprised. It looks pretty ugly without it. And with the Satur barrel, it looks very nice. Well, hopefully this video helps you guys install the Saturs uh, for your World War II Japanese swords. Thank you for asking me questions and thank you for visiting my store and watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be... Uh, showing you guys more cool tricks on World War II Japanese swords and I hope you guys learn how to install this Satoursk. If you have any questions, just comment me down below. Thank you and have a good night.